Okay. Well done. Well done, Netflix. Was not expecting that. And welcome to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben, and this is my review for Netflix's original film. So Eli was originally a Paramount film, but they didn't know how to market the film. So Netflix bought the rights to this and now it's become a Netflix original film. And basically the plot is this. There's a boy that has a debilitating disease which stops him from being able to go outside. He's very young, around 12 I think. And his parents do everything they can to try and help him. Uh, eventually the father finds a experimental doctor or a doctor who has an experimental treatment to help Eli and so they go to this house with this amazing setting it's very airy very dark very misty and uh, they begin treatment this house is hermetically sealed so you can there's only one door that to go in or out and at the same time it's very creaky it's full of noises and the boy soon discovers that there's more to this house uh, than meets the eye. It's it's basically a a boy with a disease in a supernatural house and he has to try and make people believe that what he is seen is not normal and nobody believes him and it's this ongoing fight between him and his parents and even that was good enough for me to watch. I didn't know quite know what to expect with this uh, movie. I watched a little bit of the trailer and said, no, nope, I'm not going to spoil anything for myself. So I, I put it to the side and then I watched a bit of this uh, last night because Netflix gave us the screener and I had to stop because it was getting a bit creepy and I didn't want to have really bad dreams. So I watched the rest of this morning and I have to say, I was very pleasantly surprised by the ending. There are moments when our character, Eli, the protagonist, meets other characters. I'm loosely skirting around the edges so that I'm not going to do any spoilers. And I thought I knew what these characters were or what they were going to do uh, and where this film was going to go. Going. And I was kind of going, huh, well, I've guessed it. I know what's going to happen now. This is not going to be anything original. Um, it's going to be okay. It's well shot. It's well acted. I really like some of the actors in this. Uh, the father from one of my favorite TV series of all time, The Unit. But I was, I was sure that I knew where it was going. And I didn't. I was like, what the heck? When you reach the, the, the part of the story where the story reveals what's going on, um, it's so much better. And then it's so much creepier. And then it's like, oh, this is a horror. Okay. I have to say, well done Paramount originally, well done Netflix for buying this because this is the perfect time to uh, release this sort of horror film. Netflix films can leave a bad stench in your, in your mouth because sometimes the stuff that they bring you isn't of the same quality as you get with their uh, series. Um, but there have been a few really great gems or well, ones that I've liked. And I think this is one that's going to stand out because when you think the film is going one way, it goes another way. When you think that it's um, a this type of film, it goes a completely different direction. And at the same time, there are really great mechanics in this film when it comes to horror. So there are those kind of tropes that you get in there. There are loads of um, kind of jump scares, but there are also uses of camera techniques uh, that I really liked. There was one bit, uh, just to mention, just one moment where a kid's in the cupboard and it falls down and the camera goes with it. And I really liked the creativity within that moment. And there are reflections, you know, the kind of the trope where you see something in the reflection. But the way they do that, I thought was really clever. I really liked the kid, um, the actor who plays Eli. I think he did a really great job at making me believe for the most part. There were some cheesy moments towards the end. Uh, not his fault, but just the way they went about it I wasn't sure about that's only my slight niggle everything else looks uh, the way the film looks cinematography the acting the cast the score that is uh, not overbearing but it, it heightens the sense of what's going on and then the crescendo the the culmination for what the story is at the end I was like well this is actually pretty good I'm actually gonna give this film an A because I think it kept me guessing which is unusual it's filmed well, is acted well, and uh, I'm not sure I like the ending, but uh, because uh, I can't say, but I thought, wow, okay, wasn't expecting that. Nicely done, Netflix. So let me know in the comments below whether you can handle it. It is a horror. It does get scary. It's not like horrific and it's not terribly gory. There is just really creepy moments. So 
um, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this film. I'm eager to chat to you in the comments to see what everybody else thinks, whether you've enjoyed it as much as I do. Do you think it is one of their better films? Um, yeah, like the cast, like the story. Pretty solid film. Thanks so much for watching this review, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.